Hey everyone, this is President Donald Trump praising the NFL's national anthem decision, but in so doing, once again, insulting the NFL's players who protested against the playing of the national anthem because of police brutality and killing against of black men in America. I want you to keep that in mind with what you're about to hear from Fox and Friends this morning. Well, I think that's good. I don't think people should be staying in locker rooms, but still, I think it's good. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem. Well, you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. Okay. So the idea basically is that anyone who protested against the national anthem is, should be not in America, out of the country. This from a man who, oh, January 8th, 2015, on David Letterman, supported flag burning as a right of protest against actions that American government may take. He did that, the same President Trump. But this man who is an actor for all practical purposes as President of the United States, I mean a real actor, more so than Donald Reagan was a real actor, <laughs> is pretending to take a certain position to maintain hold of a base that got him elected when knowing full well that if he expressed the same opinion that he did on David Letterman on January 8th of 2015, just a year before he decided to run for president or thereabouts, he would lose that base. That's what he is doing. But regardless of the reasons for what he's doing, it's still wrong. It's wrong to insult NFL players. It's wrong to insult NFL black players. And the National Football League owners not staff, owners, elected to take this path, say for the abstention of Jed York, without even thinking about the public relations consequences that are unfolding against it right now. And led by, of all groups, NFL players. Bad.